the, the lathe first, which is the mother of machine tools. Let us go through the main parts of this lathe. So this is on the left side of the bed. We have that headstock is there. And on the right side, we have the tail stock. And in between the headstock and tail stock, we are placing the workpiece. And at the middle portion of these two, we have the carriage part. The carriage part mainly consists of four main parts. The first is the saddle is there, that is just on above the lace bed, just top of this lace bed, that is this portion. That is this portion. This portion is the saddle portion. This portion is the saddle portion. And just above the saddle, you can see two hand wheels there, two hand wheels. And this is the cross slide, cross slide. And this is the compound rust, compound rust. And by using this cross slide, you can move the tool perpendicular to the axis of the workpiece. Here we are setting the tool here. That means here, this is the chuck, we are placing the workpiece here. So the axis of the workpiece is like this. We can traverse the tool which is placed on the tool post like this, which is placed on the tool post like this. And we can move this tool perpendicular to the axis of the workpiece by using this wheel. So it is called as the cross slide, cross slide. And next wheel is that compound rust compound rust is there. By using this compound rust, we can move the tool non-parallel to the workpiece, non-parallel to the axis of the workpiece. That means we can undergo the conical uh, operations, conical, sorry, the taper operations can be doing, can be done by using this uh, compound slide. And just above that, you can see the tool post. Here, we are using a turret tool post. Why? Because we can fold the four tools on this tool post there and hence we call it a quick change tool post why? because by dismantling this we can rotate this in an easy way so that I can use the four tools at any time at a time hence it is also called as the quick change tools and just below just beneath of the saddle is the another portion called as the apron portion apron and in that also you can see one cross you can see one wheel there and that wheel is the longitudinal wheel that is to move the carriage parallel to the axis of the workpiece. For that we are using this wheel and this portion I told you that this is called as the apron portion which includes lot of uh, gear mechanisms are there and uh, using that we can undergo the automatic motion of the carriage as well as the cross slide. And here you can see two shafts there, one is the lead screw and other is the feed rod. This is the lead screw and this is the feed rod. Using this lead screw you can undergo the thread cutting operation and using this feed rod you can undergo the automatic feed motion. Automatic feed motion. Feed means the movement parallel to the axis of the workpiece. And uh, you can see the bed also in proper way. You can see the bed, you can see the V bed gateways, see this is in the V in shape, V shape and you can see the another gateways also, the flat gateways. So these two gateways are used to support the tail stock, the carriage etc. Here you can move the carriage, you can move this, the tail stock also like this, through this bed. And similarly you can move the carriage also like this. You can move this carriage also like this through this belt. So for that uh, for that gating purpose we are providing these gateways or slide ways there. And on coming to the headstock you can see the speed changing gearbox is there. That is here it is written 554 like that it is written there. That is it is representing the RPM there. That is it is at a 500 revolutions per minute, 300, 325 revolutions per minute, which governs the speed of the spindle, speed of the spindle. 
here the spindle is attached by means of the chuck there and here you can see one feed chart here you can see some feed chart is there and this feed chart is used to control the automatic feed motion which is driven by means of this feed rod and this is how the turning operation is carried out in the lathe that is the tool is sorry the workpiece is fixed inside the chuck like this by dismantling the chuck like this we can hold the workpiece like this and hold it firmly and next is we can place the tool inside this tool post like this and we can move this tool like by use by moving this carriage like this by moving this carriage like this i can move the tool parallel to the axis of the workpiece and then to move the tool perpendicular to the axis of the workpiece i can use this cross slide like this you can move so when you move this tool parallel to the workpiece axis of the workpiece is called as a feed motion when it is moved to perpendicular to the axis of the workpiece is the depth of cut motion and uh, you can see that in all these wheels you can see some engravings there you can see one engravings there see the 0.59.9.5 like that a lot of engra engravings are there by using that engravings i can undergo the control movement that is measured movements can be done by using this uh, hand wheel and uh, the compound first that i told that is just above the cross slide there exists a swelling base that means i can swell this base by loosening this nut i can swell this base so that i can undergo the conical motions so that's all regarding the lathe motion lathe machine